Good morning, guys. Welcome back to today's video. It is like walking into. <laughs> well, that was impressive. Everybody's just flying. Where are they, going? Where? they heard me and they just came flying. <laughs> They're all coming. It's like a mist out here. It's like. Like a sauna. It's like walking out into a sauna. Like my hair is soaked. I just walked outside. It's all soaked under my under my hair. Like I'm wet everywhere. I just feel like I'm walking out into a mist. I'm sorry, but it's not time for snacks. I give them a snack every night. This is the set. This is the. These are all the new birds we got this year. Our four guineas. Aren't they adorable? There's a pied one. We have five, I guess. Oh my gosh. Even the duck just flew over here. Yeah, there's the pied one. He, she just turned her back to us. Then our turkeys, and then these are our Jersey Giants that we got from Tractor Supply that are not Jersey Giants. Or they may be Jersey Giants, but they're the miniature size because they are not big. Like a, They do not even look like a Jersey Giant. <laughs> this little duck. He just flew over. And the others are just running fast as they can. I don't even know why, because they don't ever get to eat the food that I bring out. Because the chickens scare the chickens always scare them away, but they still want me. They always still want me. Isn't that adorable? They're miniature ducks. Like they honestly are just the cutest things. It's the little girl leading the pack. So Miniature, these miniature ducks are really good at foraging. They're one of the best breeds for foraging. They, they feed, see they run away from Sam. They forage and feed themselves so, so, so well. They're also super friendly, although ours are not very tame. Watch, they're gonna come back now. See, they love me. And it's not for food because I don't ever give them food. They are so stinking cute. All right, you guys gotta go because we're going in the car. Anyway, good morning, guys. Welcome to today is Sunday. It is nine o'clock in the morning. Sam and I are done chores and we are headed out to do our date day. We're gonna go shopping, leave the kids home because they're all still sleeping. Don't run over anything. They're all there. Well, are they moving? Yeah, most of them are. I don't know if there's anybody else. Now, do you want me to get out? I can't handle it. I'm sure they're all gone over there now. Well, the other day I heard this lady talking about this other lady who has friendly goats, super friendly goats, and she was saying how like awful it was that this goat didn't know that it was a goat, that it should like be out there in the field and be with goats, and that it cried for people. Like when the people came, it would run to the gate and it would like cry for them and it wanted to be with them. And I was thinking like, holy heck, that's all of our goats or most of our goats, most of our animals. I've heard people say that about horses before too. I could never truly understand it because either you let animals be wild or you domesticate them. And if they're domesticated, why shouldn't they love the people? Why shouldn't they, like, why should they have to live any part of their life in fear? Because that's what it is to me. If an animal doesn't feel comfortable and safe around the people that take care of them, then there's a part of them that's living in fear. I don't want my animals to ever be afraid of me and having a good relationship with them is so important to me. I feel like it benefits me and it benefits them. None of our animals that have shown great love for us have ever suffered for it. Does that make sense? They've never, even though they want to be with us, especially honey, they've never suffered for that like loving is so much better than being afraid i think anyways i think that the world is changing too and i think that that lady that heard say that is getting older is in the old ways and things are changing like people it's okay to love your animal now like it's okay to have farm animals that you love in fact i never want to farm to the extent where we have so many animals that we can't know them all personally do you want to do that I don't want to have 57 sheep out in the field or 157 sheep out in the field that run when I come walking by. I don't want to have 37 horses that I'm not able to like know on a personal level. What Do you want to be a big farmer? No. Yeah, that's not for me. 
obviously it has to happen because we need food on the table. Everywhere I walk, I have an audience. There were four of them sitting here a second ago. So I started making potato so pancakes. I am making potato pancakes. Yeah, so I started making potato pancakes, which my kids have never had. I've only made them a handful of times. I love them, yeah. love them. So I'm tasking it to Sam because Sophie said, Mom, I'm going outside to play with my ponies. And then I get like so jealous. I'm like, what? Wait for me. And she's like, no, I'm going right now. And I'm like, oh, figures right when I'm in the middle of something. So let's go. Oh no. <laughs> Not again, you guys. Somehow this puppy has turned into a Laura thing. I mean, it's just that she loves Ellie so much. And so every time I take Ellie someplace, now before I can even like close the door, the puppy's out the door too. And yes, I know I could train her not to do that, but she is literally the easiest puppy. Hi, baby pony. See, I told you I'd be here. <laughs> Did take you long. Do you guys remember? When I got Ellie, I was like, I don't know, I don't, I, looking back, I always feel like maybe I was at like a weird stage in my life. I was missing Macy. I wasn't sure if I wanted to get her, but I was feeling it so strong that I wanted another puppy and then I couldn't decide if I should get my dream breed, which I thought was my dream breed, a Yorkie or if I should stick with Chihuahuas like I knew. Oh my gosh, I need to stop talking. Every time they hear me, they just all come flying to me. They all think I'm the food girl now. Uh, hey, don't dig. Hey, Kirby. Kirby. Don't dig. We're not a digging family. Sorry about your luck. No. No. Anyway, when I got Ellie, she was a hard puppy. I remember, like, it being a really stressful situation. I remember telling you guys, like, I remember sitting on the floor, like, having to sit on the floor so that she would even just climb up on me. I had to sit on the floor for like five months, play with her. I had to, like feeding her was a nightmare. She was so, like we fought all the time. Like everything I said, okay, here, let's do this puppy. She said, I'm doing that, I'm doing this. Like she was a hard, hard puppy. It took me a long time and I'm so glad I put all the work in and made her the way that I want her to be. And it worked out really well. But this puppy, this puppy is a dream puppy. Li hey, you better not dig there. Good girl. She is literally a dream. She doesn't have fleas. She's already been treated to make sure she doesn't get them. But she is a dream puppy. I can't believe it. She, everybody loves her. She is the easiest puppy by far. She's definitely, hey, don't you dig. I know she's not digging. She's just getting close to it. You better not dig or you won't be coming out with me. <laughs> Anyway, it makes it easy for her, for me to just let her come out with Ellie. <laughs> what are you guys doing? See that pied one? The one with the white? Hopefully it's a girl. Because I want more pied babies. I mean, I know we could still get them. I know we could still get them. But aren't they so cute? They're like, do you have food for me? I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're so funny. I'm surprised the ducks aren't here. Did you know that your ducks, every time they hear me, they come running? Yeah, Those guineas are ugly. Look at their face. Aren't they kind of ugly looking? Sorry, I don't mean to say you're ugly looking, but you're kind of ugly looking. So whenever any of the ducks or the chickens or anybody are, are near me, this is where Ellie is. Always. Always between my legs, waiting to make sure that I'm safe. Even though Ellie is always like in protective mode around me, she's never aggressive about it. She just, like I said, she just sits right there in front of me always. And she's only protective if somebody comes like running up to me and jumping at me. If somebody just walks up, if something just walks up to me and is just near me, she's really good. And even when, and even when she does try and protect me, she's still not bad. She like, she, except for the rooster, she, she does attack the rooster. But she's a good girl. You're a good girl, Ellie. And I'm happy to I'm happy to have her. So she got braided up. She has her leather halter. It doesn't fit. It does. It does fit Willow? No, not fit Willow. Oh, but it fits her? It's yeah. so cute. Just fits her. So hopefully she doesn't grow a lot more. Uh, she's almost done. With Sophie's it. gonna try and do some line driving. Oh my god, I lost the puppy. 
<laughs> Do you see that? Do you, oh, you're going in there? You see the sneak attacks you just did? So I've been watching a Kirby and she does that thing where she just lays down or she just sits still and then she watches and then she tries to uh, get Ellie from the opposite direction. Kind of like, a, it's like a herding thing. But it's funny to see that they have those instincts like that. She's adorable. Who's following me? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I don't have food for you. Go find friends. Go find your friends. Go. Ow. Did you just run at me? <laughs> Crap. I don't even feel good. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, man. That bread rooster just tried to attack me. Oh, he was standing there the whole time. No, he ran at me. And then what did you see him run at me? I saw him walk up. Oh, you're staying in here? I have a feeling he's going to chase me. Sophie's been doing this for a while with Honey, and usually... Usually she doesn't like the crouper, but she's actually being super uneventful and being great. She's growing up, you guys. Our girl is growing up. So, this is the difference between having Kirby and having Ellie. While I'm sitting here and there's animals around me, Ellie will not leave my side. She wants to go and play with Kirby so much, but she won't do it because you have on you because she has to protect me but Kirby's out there exploring enjoying her day <laughs> she looks like a coyote I know they're made from like dingoes but she does she looks like a coyote when she runs come here puppy come here don't you know that you're beautiful